الحمد لله الذي جعل من قضاء الايام حافزا لارباب الهمم وفي تصرف اعوام ذكرى نافعه لبناء الافراد والامم واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له امر عباده بالمسارعه الى الخيرات وحثهم على الاكثار من الطاعات ونهاهم عن سبل المنكرات واشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله اشهد الناس لنفسه في صلاح دنياه ومعاده وأنفرهم نفعا واصلاحا لامته وبلاده صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه الابرار وتابعيهم من المؤمنين الاخيار صلاه وسلاما دائمين لما تعاقب الليل والنهار قال تعالى يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله ان الله خبير بما تعملون I advise all of us myself first and most most to be pious by keeping a distance between ourselves and the punishment of Allah and and know may Allah have mercy on us that the days do not pass without purpose nor do the years قال تعالى أفحسبتم أنما خلقناكم عبثا وأنكم إلينا لا ترجعون rather the days of each day and what we carry on to the final day of judgment these will be bit, bit, these will be very good evidence for us or against us on the judgment day. Each day and year is also an ending point in time for us to think and reflect on our performance and consider the rights of Allah and His Ummah. قال تعالى إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات دون الألباب الذين يذكرون الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبهم ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والارض ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا سبحانك فقنا عذاب النار. I talk to you today about a great fact of Iman. Whoever denies it becomes a Catholic. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم has advised us to remember it often. However, many of us want to avoid it and escape talking about it. It is the fact of death. قال تعالى: كل نفس ذائقة الموت. وإنما توفون أجوركم يوم القيامة فمن زحزح عن النار وادخل الجنة فقد فاز وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور. It is the biggest reality. Every living thing will, will end. We each have our own time and our days are numbered. In a sudden moment our soul will leave our body and will be pronounced dead. Brothers and sisters, the notice of this often comes by a sudden call or a message that someone has died. It may be whom we consider in full health and wealth and strength. And in the hadith, and the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal, min iqtarab sa'a an yura al-hilal qubalam fa yuqal laylatayn wa an tuttaqad al masajid turqa wa an yadhar mawt al-fuja'a. And in the hadith of Dawud alayhi sallam, when the angel of death came to see him, he asked, who are you? The angel said, I am the one who is not afraid of the kings and, and who is not prevented by blessings and who will not accept any bribe. Dawood said, then you are the angel of death. The angel said, yes. Dawood said, you have come to me, but I am not prepared yet. The angel said, oh Dawood, where is so and so your relative and where is so and so your neighbors? Dawood said, they all died. The angel said, isn't that a reason for you to prepare? <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, a Muslim recognizes two circumstances. One, when he is in his home and with family and children, living happily and comfort and, comfort and health, and he's playing, laughing, and enjoying life. The other, when he is sick, weak, and has no treatment or cure for what ails him. Allah Ta'ala, وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ ذَلِكَ مَا كُنْتَ مِنْهُ تَحِيدٍ when the signs of death are upon us, you may be looking at your family and friends, but there is nothing you can do. You may hear, but you cannot speak, and you look all around you at the people who cannot do anything for you. قال تعالى فلولا إذ بلغت الحكوم وأنتم حين إذن تنظرون ونحن أقرب إليه منكم ولكن لا تبصرون. At this time of death, in the darkness of the grave and the day of judgment. The people are divided in two groups. The first, described in Quran, 
The first is the, the first is described in Quran. Those who are whom the angels will advise, don't be afraid, don't be afraid of what's in front of you. And don't be worried about your family and children. We will take care of you in Akhirah and we will keep you, will keep your company in the grave and the one definite day. The second, the second group is the Kaf, are the Kafirs, who are described in Quran as وَلَوْ تَرَائِهِ الظَّالِمُونَ فِي نَمَرَاتِ الْمَوْتِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ بَاسِطُ وَأَيْدِيهِمْ أَخْرِجُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ الْيَوْمَ تُجْزَوْنَ عَذَابَ الْحَوْلِ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَقُولُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ غَيْرَ الْحَقِّ وَكُنْتُمْ عَنْ آيَاتِهِ تَسْتَكْبِرُونَ To those whom the angels will tell, now we will take your soul and we will show you the punishment and humiliation for all of your denial and arrogance. Brothers and sisters, the Prophet has advised us to always remember the killer of the killer of all lusts. For all who remember it, if they are in hardship, it will become ease, and those in ease will become in hardship. It has been said, he who remembers death often will have three benefits. One, quick repentance, and the second, a satisfied heart, and the third, intensified worship. And he who forgets about death will have three consequences. One, delayed repentance. Uh, second is dis dissatisfaction with what he has, and the third is the lazy worship. But please remember, but please realize that remembering death should not mean expressing sadness and crying while, con continuing, while, while continuing any negligent deeds. Rather, remember this should be combined with our fear of bad health. كما في حديث ابن مسعود المتفق عليه يقول الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم والله الذي لا إله والله الذي لا إله غيره إن أحدكم لا يعمل بعمل أهل الجنة حتى ما يكون بينه بينه وبينها إلا ذراع فيسبق عليه القول فيعمل بعمل النهار فيدخلها وإن أحدكم لا يعمل بعمل أهل الجنة حتى ما يكون بينه بينه وبينها إلا ذراع فيسبق عليه الكتاب فيعمل بعمل الجنة فيدخلها. وهو في الحديث عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم: الكيس من دعا نفسه وعمل لما بعد الموت والعاجز من اتبع نفسه وهواها وتمنى على الله الامان. Brother and sisters, Janaza is a time for those who have minds and vision and the warning for those who have wisdom and thoughts. قال عمر بن عبد العزيز رحمه الله: أيها الناس ألا ترون أنكم تجهزون كل يوم غادي ورائحا إلى الله تضعونه في صبع من الأرض قد توسط التراب وفارق الأحفاد وقطع الأسباب عمر بن العزيز said oh people can you see that every day you are preparing someone to go to Allah you put him in seven feet of land and then cover him with death his loved ones leave him and his strength are gone وقال ثابت بن هني رحمه الله كنا نشهد جنازة فلا نرى إلا مطرقا باكيا ولا ندري من يعز بكثرة البكاء وإنما كان بكاؤهم على أنفسهم لا على الميت فإذا حملت فإذا حملت إلى القبور جنازة فاعلم بأنك بعدها محمول ثابت سيد وي يوست ويدوس الجنازة أن وي سي إيفر ون إز كراين أن وي دون نو تو هوم تو جيف عزا بيكوز أوف ذا كوموشن أند ذا تروث إز ذي ويل كراين They were crying for themselves, not for the deceased. If you, if you carry someone to the grave, please remember that you are going to be carried soon. Brothers and sisters, graves are very, graves are very confined and hard and scary. La ilaha illallah. How will the first night be in the grave? Will you return to Allah, the judge and the best accountant? 
قال تعالى ولا تتيتمون فرادا كما خلقناكم اول مره وتركتم ما صورناكم وراء ظهركم وما نرى معكم شفعاكم الذين زعمتم انهم فيكم شركاء لقد تقطع بينكم وضل عنكم ما كنتم تزعمون وكان عثمان بن عفان رضي الله عنه اذا مر على بر بكى حتى تخل لحيته من البكاء فقيل له تذكر الجنه والنار ولا تبكي وتبكي من هذا فيقول سمعت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول ان القبر اول منازل الاخره فان نجا منه فما بعده ايسر منه وان ينجو منه فما بعده اشد منه ما رايت منظرا قط الا هو القبر افضل منه عثمان بن عفان سيد عثمان عثمان بن عفان ود كان يقول هي ود باس باي ذا عندنا سبيت سويت So he was asked, why don't, why don't you carry when you remember heaven and hell as much as when you do with the grave? He said, I heard the Prophet ﷺ say, the grave is the first step of Akhirah. If you survive, then everything is, else is easier. And if you don't, then everything is harder. I haven't seen any vision as bad as the grave. Brothers and sisters, it is our fire sharia that Allah ﷻ ordered us to do our lives to Islam among us, among us ourselves. Because the Muslim has rights or obligation when he's alive and healthy and when he's sick and even after death. For the Muttafaq ala sahihatihi and the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-Qa'al haqqa al-Muslim ala al-Muslim al-Khams qaddu al-Salaam wa iyanat al-Mariyad wa attiba' al-Janaiz wa ijabat al-Da'wa wa tashmiyat al-Aqas. The third right is to follow the Janazah when he dies. Let us give deeper thoughts to these rights and recognize the greatness of Sharia, which made for the complete benefit of the community. So let us discuss the rights of the deceased over us, to pray for him, and the benefit and the rules and the wisdom. وَمَنْ لِذُ اللَّهِ بِهِ خَيْرُنَا لِفَقْهُ فِي الدِّينِ And those who are meant to be good by good, they will be guided to study the religion. The prayer over the deceased Muslim is of appreciation of him. Be good to him and mediation on our behalf, behalf to Allah's, Allah's mercy. And it is, a, it is a great reward for those who prefer the prayer and follow the janazah. <coughs> the praying of the deceased is for Bukifaya, meaning that it is obligatory for it, for it to be done. And so as long as some of us do it, the rest are excused. So as the janazah has a great reward and raise our ranks, Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, من شهد الجنازة حتى يصلى عليها فله قيراط ومن شهدها حتى تدفر فله قيراطان قيل هو القيراطان قال مثل جبلين العظيمين ولما سمع ذلك ابن عمر رضي الله عنهما قال لقد فرطنا في قرابيك كثيرا البروفيسور هي هو هو ويت فور جنازة انتل ذي بلاي جيتس ا ريورد اوف قيراط اند هي هو ويت انتل ذي بلاي جيتس قيراطان تو قيراط He was a master of the Quran. He said, It is as much as a big mountain. When Umar uh, heard that, he said, Oh, how many Quran have we missed? Prayers of the deceased brothers and sisters has a great effect on the dead. If Allah accepts his brother, mediation as per hadith. And Ashir and Allah were in her father, Father Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Mammy Mayat and Yusulla and Yusulla and Yusulla and Yusulla and Yusulla and يبلغون مئاته كلهم يشهد يشفعون له الا شفعوا فيه. وعن ابن عباس رضي الله عنه قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول ما من رجل مصر من يموت فيقوم على جنازته 40 رجلا لا يشركون بالله شيئا الا شفعهم الله فيه. وعن عائشه الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم said there is a dead man who prays for him a group of Muslims number 100. All of them mediate for him, except uh, all that Allah will accept their mediation. And Ibn Abbas said, I heard the Prophet Sallallahu say, there isn't a Muslim who dies, and a group of men attend his Jenazah, number 40, who believe in Allah with him without companions, except Allah will accept their mediation. So as the Jenazah can be performed at any time, except three times, as with the Hadith, قال عقبة بن عامر رضي الله عنه, ثلاث ساعات كان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ينهى ان نصلي فيهن او نقبر فيهن موتانا حين تطلع الشمس بازغه حتى ترتفع 
وحين يقوم قائما ظهيرة حتى تغير الشمس وحين تضيف الشمس نوره حتى تغرب عقب بن عامر سيد في تعب صلى الله عليه وسلم نفذت الأصل تبليه أوفريا ورديه ومن السرقائز أيضاً يتزنون أهد ما يتسكس لصلاة الجنازة الإمام أستاذ أتحد من تسيد مال أعد أن أميد من تسيد ومن عن يتزن كمان يتزن تهاب ثري لائز وفيهم البلاير وفيهم صلى الله عليه وسلم يبسد من صلى عليه ثلاث شكوف فقد أوجب ويبر فيس مرهب في لائز أو أكسبتهم صلاة الجنازة هذه ركوع وسجود عن في دم من المسجد أو من المجنيف يارب which is different than the regular prayer in order that people don't think that you are praying to the graves. But the Quran is about Allah. Mahasi Mu Al-Fusakum. Wazinu Ma'amalakum. Abla and Tuzan Alaykum. Asubuha Al-Muhasabat Al-Muthibira. Alayhi Tudjuh Al-Nanaman Al-Ma'asiyyat Wa Taqseer. Wa Tahawwalan Min Al-Amni Wa Al-Intani Wa Taqseer.